Los, komm, lauf! Weg, 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 lauf! Weg, los! Komm! Dark is a German series with mind-bending time travel, messed up family trees and suspense that won't let you breathe. Season 3 is coming out in just a few days, so now's a great time to rehash by checking out the best moments from the series so far. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Can I help you? I would like to talk with you about time. Lieber Jonas, when you read this, everything is already done. Es kann nicht mehr geändert werden. Starting off the list is a shocking reveal. Michael Kernwald is Mikkel Nielsen. The first plot twist from season one that started everything, and as we know, everything is connected. Aber ich hoffe, wenn du verstanden hast, wie alles zusammenhängt. At the end of episode five of the first season, Jonas receives a letter from his dead father, who tells him that he's the kid Mikkel who got lost in the woods on November the 4th, 2019. But in reality, Mikkel traveled through time that night and ended up in 1986. There he was adopted by nurse Enis Kernwald and was raised as Michael. The revelation was so groundbreaking that we forgot to move just for a minute. We are wanderers in the Dunkelheit. This is my truth. This incident changed everything we came to know about the people of Winden, their past and present. Michael grew up along with his own biological parents and lived through everything again without trying to prevent it in the first place. Because he knew one thing, he needed to go along with his fate so that Jonas could exist. Consequently, he had to die so that his son could live. Alles ist miteinander verbunden. Mika. Michael. Du bist Helge Doppler, oder? Ja, wieso? Coming in next is Ulrich leaves the child Helge to die. This is one powerful moment that made us really uncomfortable. Ulrich follows Helge believing that he's behind all the mysterious disappearances of kids but ends up transporting himself from 2019 to 1953. Aber welches Jahr haben wir? 1953. The trauma of a father who just lost his son and then time traveled 66 years back in the past was pretty vivid. We were starting to feel a bit sorry for Ulrich, but then he did something completely rash and totally unjustified. <laughs> Ulrich finds the child Helge and believes if he can kill the boy right at that moment, then maybe he can undo everything. Of course, he doesn't realize that this exact thing triggered Helge to do what he did later on. He repeatedly bashes the kid's head with a stone and leaves him to die in the bunker. Considering how radically and unexpectedly Ulrich snapped at him, the violence really left a mark on us with this one. Ich bin du. My name is Jonas Kahnwald. Up next, we have the stranger being the older Jonas. This is the moment in the show that solidified the overarching theme of fate versus free will. Jonas of 2019 is captured by Noah in a bunker in 1986, and suddenly the stranger appears. Hey, hey, what's all this? What is this here? Even though the stranger and Jonas crossed each other's path frequently before, Jonas couldn't have anticipated what was coming next. Jonas pleads to the stranger to let him go, but the stranger says that it's Noah who captured him and things will happen as they're supposed to. Aber ich kann dich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Verändere ich jetzt meine Vergangenheit, verändere ich auch meine Gegenwart. In a thrilling monologue, the stranger reveals that it's he who supplied the letter of Michael to Jonas. The older Jonas has a plan to stop the cyclical loop of events, but in order to do so, Jonas has to go through exactly what the older Jonas did. The stranger reasons that if he changes his past now, then it'll also change who he becomes in the future. Unser Vater ist nur ein kleiner Teil eines riesigen Geschwürs. Ich habe Dinge gesehen, die kein Mensch jemals sehen sollte. We know it sounds screwed up, but considering how older Jonas is so determined to stop the sick Mundas from destroying everything, this heart-to-heart -heart moment between younger and older Jonas really stayed with us. Du hättest ihm sagen können, was seine Aufgabe in all dem ist. Auf welchen Weg du ihn wirklich schickst. Nicht mehr lange. At number seven, we have a moment where we see that Magnus and Franziska have joined Sigmundas. Boy, did we get one hell of a shock with this one. It's revealed that Sigmundas also has two members we didn't even expect in our dreams, Magnus and Franziska. To put things into perspective, Magnus Nielsen is Ulrich's son and Mikkel's elder brother, and Franziska is Charlotte Doppler's daughter and Helge's granddaughter. Thanks to Adam's sinister plans and time traveling, the lives of the Nielsens and Dopplers have been destroyed within a twisted knot. 
not. After going through everything, seeing older Magnus and older Franziska as part of Sigmundus shocked us to the very core. They're pretty old in this scene, probably from about 2052. Both of them speak very less, but thanks to their self-assuring grins and stone-cold eyes, we realise that they know something we don't know. Whether Adam has successfully manipulated them or whether they've willingly accepted their part in the bigger plan, they're two people we didn't expect to see with Sigmundus. We all müssen Opfer bringen, Magnus. Agnes killing her brother Noah comes in next. The events at Sigmundus Mansion didn't stop screwing with our mind with just Magnus and Franziska. In season 2 we're introduced to Agnes Nielsen and we come to know that she is Ulrich's grandmother and more importantly Noah's sister. Dieser Knoten lässt sich nur lösen, indem man ihn voll und ganz for the most part of the series, we've associated Noah with the devil himself. Noah, with his brooding intimidation and biblical connection, travels through time at will. He masterfully manipulates people to serve a hidden agenda, but the finale of the second season reveals to us that he's nothing but a pawn to the mastermind Adam. Du führst keinen Krieg gegen Gott. Noah feels betrayed by a secret so earth-shattering that he starts questioning everything. Agnes reappears and in her bid to get her into the Sigmundus, she kills her own brother. Noah was the villain all along but in a swift moment, the tables are turned and he meets a tragic end. This sets up Agnes's story in Season 3 and Adam's apocalyptic plans move on. I know that you will be at the Atelier. Jonas helping his dad commit suicide makes the number 5 spot. Yep, no kidding, we didn't see this one coming either. Adam convinces Jonas that only by stopping Michael from committing suicide can the chain be broken. But Adam, being the psychopathic liar that he is, actually manipulates Jonas to willfully carry the chain on. Jonas breaks down seeing his father is alive and tells him everything that's going on. But here's the shocker, Michael wasn't even thinking of killing himself. <laughs> It's Jonas who plants the idea of suicide in that moment. He had no previous intentions at all. After reading the letter, Michael realizes that he's just a small part of a bigger puzzle and he must do his part so that his son Jonas can end it once and for all. Young Jonas realizes that he's condemned to continue the chain irrespective of whether he wants to or not. This is the classic predestination paradox. The birth of an event is caused by a previous event, which in turn was created by the new event. Seeing the helplessness in each other's eyes and knowing the inevitable future, both father and son hug each other and break down. Where are they? Ich bin du. Up next, we have Adam being Jonas. This was the moment when our minds went completely numb. Right before the fourth episode ends, Jonas finally meets Adam. Du hast sicherlich viele Fragen. Puzzled by everything, and frankly we don't blame him, Jonas asks who Adam is. Adam unties his collar and reveals the scar design on his neck. To our surprise, we've seen the same injury on someone else already, haven't we? It was on Jonas. At this moment, Jonas was every one of us. Neither us nor Jonas could believe what just happened. Adam, the mastermind behind the time traveling group Sigmundus set out to destroy the world is none other than the older Jonas. It's amazing to think that Adam, with all his wisdom and time in the world, will willingly let the young Jonas go through all these. On top of that, Adam plays the antagonist to his own self. All this whilst we're rooting for Jonas, who was struggling through the dark secrets of past and future, but witnessing how things will actually plan out in the end. Neither Jonas nor we knew what and how to feel. Just complete numbness. It's fehlt nur noch ein kleiner Schubs. My body is a cage. Charlotte's mother is her daughter, Elizabeth. Shocking, right? This makes the number three spot. A twist that puts the Lannisters of Game of Thrones to shame. The only difference is that unlike the Lannisters, the people here weren't in control of anything. The big reveal came in the beginning of the final episode of season two, but was confirmed by Adam later on. Charlotte is deine Tochter. Sie ist Elizabeths Tochter. And her mother. In episode 5, Noah meets Charlotte and lets her know that he's her father, but he doesn't say who her mother is. In the season finale, it's revealed through 2052 Charlotte's Polaroid that the baby she's holding with Noah is none other than Charlotte. 
Of course, Noah's moral compass takes a hit in front of Adam and he tries to correct the course of time, only to be killed by his sister Agnes later. <coughs> the season ends with the explosion at the nuclear reactor, which opens a portal through time and Charlotte and the adult Elizabeth finally meet. Charlotte soon realizes the true identity of the woman on the other side, and just when they're about to come into contact, a darkness engulfs everything. <laughs> This is the perfect bootstrap paradox where Charlotte's the daughter of her own daughter. Charlotte never knew her parents and was raised by the clockmaster, so it's possible that baby Charlotte was transported back to somewhere before 1986 and ended up falling in love with Peter and giving birth to her own daughter. And you thought only Jonas had a weird family, hey? In the runner-up spot, Adam kills Martha. The last episode of the second season kept throwing curveballs at us and this one really hit the ball out of the park. The day of the apocalypse is here and Jonas returns to his house to meet his mother, but she's not there. Martha comes running into the house and what follows is a beautiful reunion in an otherwise dark show. Pun intended there, obviously. <laughs> The lovers unite, sobbing and holding each other. And of course, since it's dark, some messed up things follow. Adam himself appears and Jonas snaps at him for lying to him. Adam says that he is indeed the trigger, the trigger that will turn Jonas into Adam in future. Adam then proceeds and shoots Martha right through her chest, killing her instantly. Adam believes Jonas will go through everything he has and will see the clarity behind his vague decisions. But it's puzzling for the time being to believe that Jonas will turn himself to be the same guy who just killed Martha, the love of his life. Quite a strong trigger if you ask us, but we're not sure if Adam just pushed his younger self too much this time round. You kannst mich aufhalten. Oder versuchen sie zu retten. And finally, at number one, Martha appears from a different world. The mother of all twists. Just when both viewers and Jonas were struggling to come to terms with Martha's death, a visitor appears. And lo and behold, it's a chic Martha with bangs. But how is that possible? Dead Martha's lying there in a pool of blood. But if you've been paying attention, then you know it's pretty obvious Dark doesn't believe in having one person in one place at one time. Time travelers come and go, older selves meet younger selves and tell truths no one can believe. Anyway, Jonas is expectedly frightened, devastated and confused. So he asks her from which time she's from, since that's an entirely normal thing to ask in this show, isn't it? To all of our surprise, new Martha says that the question shouldn't be about which time, but from where. Frage ist nicht aus welcher Zeit. Yes, you guessed it right. We now have multiple dimensions. Just before the apocalypse, Martha takes out a sleek new time machine and takes Jonas with her. To know more about the new world Martha, where Jonas went, the white devil, the grand plan of Adam, and how the stranger Jonas plans to stop the old Jonas, we have to wait for the last cycle to begin. And honestly, we just can't wait. We've talked about our personal favorite moments from Dark, but what are your favorite moments? And what do you think we've missed on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell as well so you never miss a single one of our new uploads, and let us know what list you think that we should be doing next. I'll see you next time on The TV Regent.